I've been looking forward to is a conversation where you explain a little more just about the values that uh, are moving you in terms of uh, you know, being director of the Moffat. And what we've just seen with the art seemed really important to you. So I wonder if you could start with that and then you tell me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk in your term. Okay. Or maybe I'll start now. I think the most important thing in education is that different dialogues being carried out between different persons. It can be one to one or one to a group, but the dialogue, or I wouldn't say the dialogue, the discourse or the conversation, the personal, um, the personal meeting or the personal personal experience is the most important thing. And I think everything we do has to go there at the end. If I try, when, when I came here, it was a very isolated um, institute. I mean, but it was a very, very clear, um, clear uh, target audience. It was only teacher educators. Now, teacher educators are our core business. But I want to be a link in the chain. So what I do is really have um, a lot of contact with policy makers. And one thing that I do, which I'm very happy, because I'm afraid to say proud, but I'm very happy with, is that they, whenever they want to move some, I don't like the word reform, so I say process. I say, come to us and we shall learn about it together. We will give you information from our information center. We will help you research things. We will help you to think widely and not only to act out of power and political you know, motivations. So we have become very, we have, we have a very, very intensive discourse with policymakers. Same in the other side. I mean, we have to be in touch with a system that we are preparing teachers for. And if we are as isolated, then we have no... So for instance, I said that, what do we want to be when we are big, when we are going? So I said two things. I want everybody, when everybody asks, which is the best place to have professional development? They would say nothing. Which is the best one to research teacher education and education, they will say, the Moffat Institute. So we are now the center for professional development for all the uh, senior position holders in the Ministry of Education, which is fantastic. Because then we connect them to what we do in teacher education. And I will give you an example. All of a sudden, it's always all of a sudden, there was a big struggle between the Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Education on leftovers of budget and it was five milliard five milliard shekels and the Ministry of Education won the battle with the precondition that they will have a computerized or ICT reform. So they asked us to prepare the paper to present to the Prime Minister. So we did a very very we worked for twenty four hours very, very, very big job. I mean, we learn all the reforms that have been done in other countries and, you know, the drawbacks and, and things that, you know, succeeded and things that didn't, and all kinds of variety of ways to do it. But we have put in what wasn't in teacher education. And we built the plan how to do it in teacher education. And one of the preconditions was not to pour machines but to start with the people. Mm -hmm. So we have, each college has to send six representatives from pedagogical guidance, from theoretical education studies and disciplines, so that it will, you know, spread the... And they have to come here to study, first of all. And only, and they have to give a plan how they will do this thing. So this is one example how we can influence uh, through the researchers that we are doing, through the information center that you know gives them all kinds of materials. 
And the main thing I say again, 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 I say is the discourse. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the people who are, and well, I'm very, very happy now. I don't know if you won't quote me now. But in this conference, I heard the Deputy General, um, the one who is in charge of us, I mean, of all teachers in the year, saying that they're doing now wonderful researches that they are initiated they are initi initiated to do and they're doing it with us. And I was really happy. I said I don't need I don't need the you know the credit. Mm -hmm. As long as they think that research is important for them. And you know one thing which is very, very unique I think and Ainat and I are writing about it is the work of policy maker and academic and faculties together. I mean, we are making the researchers together with them. Not about them, yeah. but together with yeah. them. And then they, are, they adopt. And we have, you know, stations where we, where we discuss. And they can, you know, give their input and say, we don't want you to do it, to do it this way, you don't, we want you to do it that way. And we work together, which is very, very important. I'm very much criticized for that because people think that I serve the politics, policy maker and I, you know, I'm their servant, which I'm not. I'm their, um, how do you say it, uh, I work together with them. Mm -hmm. But also, it feels that you're bringing a very creative understanding of relationships as well as that network which links in with the policy. Yeah. I'm curious about. Um, the continuing professional development. So, yeah. if, if I was to ask um, about the data archive, for example, that might be being built up here, like yeah. when you talk about yeah. the, the writing um, from the Moffat, that's okay. yeah. So, the writing is just one channel. To begin with, Moffat was a place for peer meeting to take you out of isolation, uh, to to discuss together what we are doing because I think Moffat is a place for professional socialization because each one of us who work in teacher education, who works in teacher education, has to have a doctoral degree but it can be in physics, mathematics, astronomy, you name it. But then to transfer it, to translate it to teacher education is something very different. And you know some people come and you know they would come, I still remember a literature teacher and she said, I teach literature, I don't mind where it is, whether it's in the university or it's in the college. I said, no, because when you teach in the college, you teach teachers to be practitioners, not to be researchers. Yeah. And you have to do it completely different. So what we have created here are different channels for professional development. Because from the uh, point of view that if you are an adult learner, you have your own style. I cannot impose on you one style. So you have the possibility to have very structured lessons and courses. You have the possibility to research. You have the possibility to write. But we give support because to go back, many of the or most of the of teacher educators were like me. I had you know my first career as a teacher, as a kindergarten teacher. And then I came to teacher education. But I never had, you know, the habit of researching my work. So we had to put the culture of research, the culture of writing into teacher education. So we opened a research authority and also the writing channel. They always do two things. What to ask? So I'll just say that. Yeah. Okay. One is to support novice. No, okay. novices, yeah, yeah, novices yeah. beginners, yeah. and the other is to give stage to experts. Okay. And now the balance, we, to begin with, we had to give much more support to beginners and less to experts because we didn't have so many experts. Now there is a call from the, from the uh, heads of the colleges yeah. to open uh, the frameworks for experts, and you know, this is the first time that we we had a, 
uh, call for action. I mean, we had, how do you call it, when you give an open call and say, what options? Yeah. So, and we, we said, we will finance, we will give uh, support, I mean, uh, money, only for senior uh, researchers. And we thought that we will have four that we will support, and they will be also our home researchers. We got 45, 45 suggestions, 78 people, which means how the field is thirsty for such an, you know, tenth of the professors. And it's very difficult to be a professor in a college. Mm -hmm. So we, all the time, we have to read them up and to see, and this is one advantage of us not being under the um, uh, high council, the, the council of higher okay. education. Yeah. So we are free to free open to. anything, but on the other hand, we are not recognized as recognized as an academic institute, which is. Yeah, but that, that I'm curious about because if I take something that intuitively I feel is important to you, like going around the art, three floors. And as I was going around with the, with the staff paintings, I felt this amazing liberation. I imagined staff just going down there and seeing each other in totally different ways. So there's a creativity and an openness. On the students' floors, it was very much um, a powerful self-reflection linked into the culture of issues that really were very significant to the artist, to the person, the student who was producing that. Now, both of those seem very important to you. So if I say right now, in research terms, to try to make public, as the Moffat is committed to, this sense of the personal practical knowledge, the embodied knowledge mm -hmm. of the practitioners, and you as practitioner, because mm -hmm. this is what you're doing, I, I just feel intuitively that there's something very significant about what you were saying about relationships mm -hmm. earlier on, that that seems right at the core of your educational belief. But then the art. It seemed to be serving both a very creative and liberating influence through staff who were beginning to see themselves in totally different ways, and then allowing the students to understand themselves and express honestly some of the most profoundly important values and experiences they were having. And those two seem very significant to you. But in researching, I'm not sure that uh, that knowledge has been made public. So if I think about the Moffat Institute and that commitment to bring that quality of embodied knowledge, I call it the embodied knowledge, the practical knowledge, into the public domain as part of the knowledge base, um, I'm just curious about whether that is something that you feel you would like to see happen, uh, or whether it is yeah. happening. Yeah. Uh, you, you defined it nicely, that you said, you know, it is still intuitive, not enough yeah. structured. Yeah. But we have here, we have created a forum here around this art exhibitions. Because what, to begin with, I wanted to bring, I wanted to bring art into the, because I thought, you know, art is really neglected in education mm -hmm. and, and, you know, in you know, all this system, you know, the ICT is, you know, the crown now and, and art is really the servant. So I wanted to bring, you know, to have a place, an aspiring place, yeah. and also to bring the art students who have uh, problems of identity, because they don't want to be to belong to education, and to show them that belong to education is also very inspiring for you, and that really happens. Yeah. That happens yeah, because great. you know they were not talking to each other all these colleges, and all of a sudden they see that they have things in common. For instance, how to tutor art students, it's very, very difficult, you know, it's very cool because they bring their own soul and then you say to them, that's not good enough. So you don't only say that the work is not good enough, but the way you express your feeling, because they are identified with their work, so there's a wonderful debate around mm -hmm. these subjects and others that they all cope with, but they never, you know, gave it voice together. Mm -hmm. So they do such things together. We didn't do it institutional wise. I mean we always when we have an exhibition we I decide we'll take the whole staff and we have conversations and of course when they say I won't live with such a picture, 
we listened to them, but we didn't really do a very, very strong, uh, how do I say, uh, amal amalgamate, no, but you know, crystallizing it. Uh, there's something rather special about yeah. I think what you're meaning again by dialogue and the when we're talking about the systemic or the engagement with the policy makers, again, there's something really important to think. If it hasn't already been made public, um, it could almost help the I don't know whether it would help the Moffitt Institute, but there's something at the moment, like when I saw the programme and then I heard you just talk about the kind of values you were held. It just felt there was something could add to the, like the conference program, um, the value space that as you're going around and you're talking about your curators and you're involving in a very inclusive way um, the greeting with the finance director. Mm -hmm. it, it is very warm, uh, there's affection, there is, you're living the values that you're living. So that, that was all I was hoping, and I'm mean, delighted. I would that we say we come to know. work to meet people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we go to the class to meet the class and the kids and not to teach subject matter. I mean, this is, okay, this is the, the uh, I mean, that's good. But, but, the, but the main thing is to be with people, to influence people, to have a discourse with people. I think this is the main mm. thing that we do and this is why I'm so grateful uh, that I'm in education all my life <laughs> because I think this is, this is a present, yeah. you know, to be a part of other ones' lives, mm. to be, to be, yes, to, to Put the finger in, in no, their that's, lives. That's really great. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, I guess there are many, but you know, mm. I think they will mm, try to steer me. To well, no, it was, let me work at what we've said. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can put this on a kind of private channel. And then if I just raise questions, if, the, if and it might be significant for you, you know, in terms of. Um, bring the qualities as an educator and also as leader and administrator, but also connecting with the wider systemic understanding of policy. It feels there's something very significant about those links between your own, what I said about influencing others, and then the social formation in which you're learning and working. I, I would say that it's sometimes painful, as Anna yeah. said, yeah. because many people are very task oriented. Mm -hmm. And I'm sometimes criticized for not being tough enough with people, for instance, with this function. Mm. And it's, it's very difficult for me. I mean, to fire someone, it's, for me, it's the end of the world. Mm. I feel, I, I know I have to feel that I do the right thing for the institution, but I feel that as if I show them to the street. Mm which is not good once you sit in a chair. I mean, you have to, sometimes you have to identify you with your chair or with your duty yes, yes. and not with your notions yeah. or your, you know, values. And this contradict, contradiction is very difficult for me. So I, I think I was a very good, if I may say so, academic. I was the head of the Faculty of Education in Orni. Mm -hmm. I think I was much better there than here. Because here I also have to deal with all the administrative yeah. part, which I really, I don't think I'm good at that. Mm -hmm. I'm good at, you know, the educational work. I'm not so good at the other, and that's... But we need the educator. We need the people with the qualities. But you know, when, when they had to choose a uh, head for the, for the Moffat Institute, when the other one said that she wants to, and they had they had their, you know, the deliberations and said, should we take someone who is an expert in management and economic, or should we take someone who is an expert in education? And it has, you know, each way has its own prices and benefits. And they decided to take someone who is more expert in education, and it has its prices, which I guess they pay and I pay. <laughs> I pay. Yes. yes Mostly yes. I pay. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it's important to understand those boundaries, those boundaries because um, it feels to me what you've been able to do, just seeing in a very brief way, that you've been able to um, open those boundaries so that the qualities of human relationship literally shine through. So there's no authenticity about your relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an integrity with the students, with their learning, but also you're able, and you've learned this, I think. To enable those boundaries, 
to become, what we say, um, impermeable at times, because you have to take a very painful decision. So that leadership, the, you know, with those boundaries, living boundaries, which you have to learn um, how to become open, and also then, you know, I've got to be firm about this. But let me, I, I'd love to work with you. Many thanks for that. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Thank Hopefully, you very much. You know, Thank you. Because yeah. you always, when you're asked about things, you have to think about them. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.